Welcome and ho 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 to the Magnus' Loot Crate Christmas Special 2021. Now folks, I'm going to go ahead and address it right now. Because I know you can tell I'm not wearing the usual Loot Crate attire. And instead of forcing you to try to read my shirt, I'm just going to quote it verbatim. And when Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney night, he's going to find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nuthouse. So, that is exactly what this shirt says. <laughs> Folks, today, this very special Christmas special, we're going to take a look at six figures that I picked up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say some of these won't be reviewed on this channel. Just because they're either repeats or... Well... I'm just going to go ahead and show you. These are the these are the figures that we're going to take a look at. So folks, here are the figures we're going to be taking a look at on this Magnus' Loot Crate Christmas Special. I'm not going to name them off in any particular order, but we have the Fantasy Box FB-03 Chang E3 Limited Edition figure. We have the New Age H27B Famine Slash Slaughter. I guess they wanted to give him two names instead of one. We have the Iron Factory EX-49P, The Last Prophet, their version of Alpha Trion. Of course, now here's one with sort of two figures in one. It's the New Age H27W Conquest and H28 Octavian. That is the New Age Ultra Magnus figure. Of course, it's two separate figures because the trailer is sort of separated armor. So, of course, there you go. We also have the Lucky Cap Microcosmos CM-01 Elvis. Oh, that is the uh, Voltron figure you see there. I like that one. I'm going to go in depth on that just a little bit. And finally, folks, the centerpiece and the reason why there is a frenzy figure amongst the smaller figures. We have the Robot Paradise RP-01 Acoustic Wave. That will be what we'll be looking at for this Magnus' Loot Crate Christmas special. Now that you've seen the figures we're going to be taking a look at, and you know which ones they are, these aren't. this is not going to be a full review. I'm not going to do it up close and personal or any of that. I'm just going to show them, talk about them a little bit, give you an idea of what they are. The ones that won't be reviewed specifically are going to be the Iron Factory Last Prophet. Matter of fact, he, I'm not even going to transform him to show you. Just because I wanted a Legend Scale Alpha Trion. That's what I got. And I'm not going to review the New Age Nemesis Prime or the Famine Slash Slaughter figure. Just because I don't have the original Optimus Prime yet, so I've not seen what the trailer looks like. But you know what? It's Christmas. I wanted to give you guys something special. So there you go. So folks, with all that jolliness out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Folks, here's the box art for the wonderful little H27B Famine. Apparently, Slaughter is his shattered glass name. Now, folks, here he is in his clamshell. Just a quick peek at this. Just to show you, there's not a whole lot to this clamshell. Since he doesn't come with a trailer or any of that, but we'll forgive that. But here he is in his bot mode. Now, folks, I definitely like the way this little dude looks. Now, you may notice this a little sped up because I'm going to show you two bot modes sort of back to back. And I wanted you to be able to see at least one or two turns. Let's switch over. Here he is. This is sort of a secondary bot mode because he does come with a cape and a sword so that you can give him the whole Black Knight look if you want to. I can't really say this is a way I would put him on the shelf, but it looks good. I'm not going to lie. Now, folks, let's switch over. Here he is in his truck mode. And I like the way this looks. Now, I know a lot of people, like, well, I know of one person in particular that's been griping about this particular figure, but I have to admit, I really like it. It looks good. The bot modes and the truck modes look nice. I mean, if you're looking at them up close all the time, you're way too close. But folks, there he is. The New Age H27B Famine. So 
folks, here we have the New Age H27W Conquest and H28 Octavian in the box. Let's flip over. Here we go. We're just going to start out with the White Optimus Prime just to take a good look at this mode because I, I would have felt remiss if I didn't show this. I kind of forgot to record the... <laughs> I forgot to record the clamshell, so that was sort of my fault. I got into a big, a big hurry. But you know what? Let's go ahead and armor him up and take a look. Here he is. This is Octavian, or the Ultra Magnus mode, as I like to call it. That's just the way it works. I really like the way this dude looks, and I do like the way the armor tabs into him. It's actually pretty nice. It's like his legs are gigantic boots on the bottom, so... They're not, they're, those feet aren't going anywhere, but now let's flip over and take a look. Here he is in his truck mode, or his car hauler mode, I guess is the best way to put it. I definitely like the way this looks. It's got that nice look to it, and I, it's really detailed. I really like it. Folks, not a whole lot I can really say about this one. I definitely enjoy it, and I will be reviewing this one a little bit later down the road. Full review. So folks, there it is. That is the New Age H27W Conquest and the H28 Octavian. So folks, here's a quick look at the box for the Fantasy Box from 52 Toys, the Chang E Limited Edition figure. Now folks, let's go ahead and switch over here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you guys already know I'm a sucker for the Femme Butts, but I had to get this one because she is just cute in particular. I do like the way this figure looks. Like I said, cute is the word of the day. I like the way she looks. Now I got her from Big Bad Toy Store, so... Maybe they're limited to Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sure, but you know what, folks? I'm not even going to argue with it. I had to get her. Now, let's transform her up. Now, here's the part where it gets weird, folks. I'm not exactly sure what this is that she transforms into. Is it a Chinese makeup kit? Is it some kind of a, I don't know, is it a toy box, jewelry box? I'm not totally sure. So anybody that can answer that question, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to know. Well, folks, that's pretty much it for the 52 Toys Fantasy Box Chang'e figure. So, folks, here's a quick look at the box for the Iron Factory IF-EX-49P The Last Prophet. Now, this particular figure was what I, where I got a really bad case of the lazy because, well, I've already done a review of the IFEX-49, the Scourge version, so I didn't feel the need to show the clamshell or, the, or in particular, the, uh, the vehicle mode because, well, the vehicle mode really sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. But, folks, I definitely, like I said before, I definitely needed an Alpha Tron for a Legend scale. And this one looks good, and he actually looks kind of badass, if you don't mind me saying. So, I could do worse. But folks, there he is. That is the Iron Factory IFEX-49P, The Last Prophet. So folks, once again, a quick look at the box, and this would be the Lucky Cat Microcosmos MC-01 Elvis. Uh -huh. I don't know why I feel the need to do that, but here he is in his clamshell. As you can see, he already comes fully formed as Voltron. Now, I was happy because I could have just stopped right there, put him up on a shelf, and never done anything else. But you know what? I wanted to show him off in this Christmas special. Now, I did get a little bit lazy. Let's go ahead and cut away. And here the lines are separately. Now, I don't know if I fully have them transformed correctly, but there they are in all their liony goodness. Now, folks, you can also transform the lines into three boxes. The arm bots into one, the black line into another, and the legs into a third. Here they are in a picture. I'll just go ahead and pop it up here to show you what that looks like just so I can do somewhat of a due diligence. But now let's cut over, and here it is what I wanted to have, which was a Voltron 
figure. Now, folks, I've had many chances to get Voltrons, but I, I just, I don't know why I couldn't justify spending a whole lot of money. But when this set came out, I was like, that's the one that I want to get. Because the gimmick of the fact that you could turn them into boxes tickled my pickle like nothing else could. So, folks, there it is. The Lucky Cat Microcosmos MC-01 Elvis. After a quick look at the box and how lovely that looks, let's go ahead, swap over and take a look at this is a Robot Paradise RP-01 Acoustic Wave with his little buddy Frenzy. Yes, Frenzy is the red one, and don't you ever forget it. Folks, I really like the way this guy looks. I can't wait to put him up on my shelf where the uh, Takara sound wave used to be, because I definitely think this dude's got more of the cartoon accuracy going. He looks a heck of a lot better, in my opinion. Now, this is just based on aesthetics, personally. But I do like this one. The way this guy looks a heck of a lot better than the Takara one. Now, let's flip over here and take a look. Here is the cassette player mode in all of its wonderful 80s brick glory. I love this thing. And it does look very cartoon accurate, just like the way he was in the cartoon when he was transformed into his cassette player mode. I definitely like this one. Uh, folks, that's pretty much it for all the figures I'll be showing you for this particular Christmas special. Let's go ahead and end this off on a high note, and you guys have a Merry Christmas. So folks, that is it for the Magnus' Loot Crate Christmas Special 2021. Folks, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. I, this is getting put out late on Christmas Day, but you know what? It wouldn't be Christmas without a Magnus of Luke Craig Christmas special. I'm glad that you guys have joined me for this ride. Throughout this crazy year, I'm going to try, try to start putting out more reviews. Some of them that are late, they're already way late. But I'm going to still try to get them out anyway, just because I know you guys probably want to see my take on these figures. So I'm going to try to do that just for you guys. Folks, I will see you again in 2022. Have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you next time. Underneath the Christmas tree, all of her wildest dreams tear apart her wishful heart to believe in something splendid, wicked and wise. Dance with her on this night like a dream come